you know, I mean, we make all kinds of promises. We, we make all kinds of promises to God. God's not pleased with us. Uh, we start off January the 1st. Everybody running. Woo! Pastor said, come to pray. Let's come to church. Oh, we, go. we all come. All of us come. Have to sit out of the church. Come on, all of us are there. And you give us about two months, no, I'll back up. You give us about a month, no, I'll back up. You give us about two weeks, no, and, and, and we stop coming. Why? Because we're not committed. Our, our words are meaning. Our commitment. These people, they didn't even realize that Jesus had something greater for them than what they could ever imagine. If we would only realize, people of God, that he has so much for us. And you said, Sister Carla, I'm talking about, you know, I'm not talking about throwing off the people today. I'm talking about each one of us examining ourselves. You know, somebody died in our family, and you know, we just go crazy at the funeral. Trying to pull them out of the casket. Just, you know, just love them. I just love them so much. You don't know how much he meant to me. You know, we just, we, uh, just, just, you're almost trying to get over in there with them. Just, oh, and, land, and I love you. And then, once they close that casket, put the people in the ground, we forget that they ever existed. Come on. Come on. Where's our real commitment? Jesus said, my kingdom is a kingdom that's not like the kingdom of the world. This is what I'm trying to tell you. I'm telling you, saints of God, that we've got to be lonely. <laughs> We, 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 we can't be high-minded and we, we can't be so arrogant and we can't think so much of ourselves that we never think of others. Sometimes it's got to be about others. I, I've told you this so many times, but I, and, and I, may, I, I don't know if I tell it because I, I want to keep it before me, but, but you remember I told you about Mother, Mother Crutcher? Y'all remember the story about Mother Crutcher? Yes, y'all do. Well, yeah, don't we hear it again? <laughs> Mother Crutcher one of the, was one of the greatest women in the history of Koji. Yeah, 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 Big, stout woman, nice looking, very attractive. Beautiful woman. Yeah. Just, just a beautiful, but an anointed woman. She wasn't just beautiful, but she was an anointed woman. Yeah, Mother Crutcher loved the Lord. Yeah. And, and she ministered a lot. She was over our young women's Christian council in our church. Yeah. But she had a wonderful spirit. And Mother Crutcher said, one night I was going to minister, and, and I had to go in the back hills. I had to, had to go back up in the woods. It was out in the country. I had to go and minister one night. And I had a little young guy, and he drove me to my uh, uh, appointment. He said, she said, but on the way back, on the way back, on the way back, the car broke down. And you know out there in the country, you all ever been in the country? I mean the real country. I'm not talking about the country of the United States. I, I, I'm talking about I'm talking about in the real country where there are no lights. I mean it's pitch black. Mother Crutcher said it was so dark that night you couldn't even see your hands in front of your face. And she said that car broke down notes. And she said, I said, son, what are we gonna do? We, we, we're out here and, and you know we don't you know, we in unfamiliar territory. And we was kind of in redneck area. And she says, I, 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 was, I was nervous. I, I, I really, we were really nervous about it. And he said, Mother, I don't know what we're going to do. She said, well, son, get out and see if you can get us some help. He said, Mother, I don't see no. I don't see no. I, I don't see nothing. And he kept looking. And he was looking around. And pretty soon, he said he saw a little. She said, where's on where? He said, over there. It's over there. He said, uh, she said, well, get out and, and go over there and see if you can get us some help. And, and Mother Crutcher said, and, and so he started out, he got out of the car, and she got to thinking, well, you know what I mean? <laughs> if it's way over there, how long is it going to take him to get back? And I'm sitting out here in this car by myself, wonderful, anointed Mother Crutcher. 
She says, but, 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 but son, she said, wait a minute, I, I, I think I'll go with you. He, he, he said, all right, come on. And they started out and got there and there was this barbed wire fence. And he said, mama, I, 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 we can't, I, can't, I can't get there. There's a barbed wire fence there. She said, son, are you sure? Because our hopes were up. And he said, yeah. He, he, she said, well, well, can you just raise the fence up? Just, just, just raise it up, son. And, and uh, we, we, we can, you, can, you can get underneath the fence. And he said he grabbed that barbed wire fence and he tried to pull it up and it just only came up a smidgen. You know how much a smidgen is? A smidgen is about that much. And she said, he, he said, but she said, well, son, you gotta get it up high. And then he said, he said, Mother Crutch, I can't get it up no higher than that. And he just kept yanking and he kept yanking. She said, son, just, just, just pull a little bit harder. He was a young man, so she couldn't, he could work wonders. He wasn't Superman, but she was acting like he was. She said, pull it on up. And he, he said, Mama, he said, I can't. He said, I can't get it. She said, well, you got to do something because we gotta get some help. He said, they'll go to sleep. Well, nobody be in, everybody be in bed. You gotta do something. He said, well, Mama, if you're going to go, you with me, you're going to have to get down low. And Mother Crutcher said, what? He said, no. He said, yeah, you're going to have to get down low. If you're going to, we're going to get under this fence and we're going to get some help. You got to get up. And, and so she started trying to get up under the fence. And she said, son, this, you got to raise it up higher. He said, mama, I can't get it no higher. She said, yes, you can, boy. Keep pulling. He said, mama, I can't get it no higher. He said, well, what am I going to do? He said, you're going to have to get down low. Mother Crutcher said she put her face in that grass and that dirt and all her belly and everything and she went to wiggling and scooting and moving and wiggling and scooting and moving and wiggling. No, she, until she got underneath that fence. The barbed wire didn't even cut her because she got down low. I, I just want to remind the church today. Some of us are too high for God to bless us. Yeah. 
cast out seven devils. Well, then that crowd was Lazarus that Jesus had raised from the dead. Hallelujah. Well, then that crowd was the one to blind Bartimaeus. They were all in that crowd. But they weren't hollering. Hosanna, Hosanna. They were saying, King of kings and Lord of Lord. Great is our God and greater to the glory. He is a great king. He is a mighty king. They didn't let those people stop them from believing that. They knew he was king. He had healed them. He had delivered many of them. What's wrong with us today that we let us let people tell us that he's not the king? He's no Lord. He had to go to Calvary and die. They make us want to change our minds about who Jesus is. I'm not about to change my mind. He's still my Lord. He walks with me. And he talks with me. And he tells me I am his own. And the joy we share as we carry them. None other has ever, ever, ever known to worship you, I believe. Keep on saying, keep on saying. I just want to call a few witnesses today. 